guys we have new content in the game today we're going through it i'm going to show you guys everything that they dropped today the new roster update and the brand new headliner we're going to open all five of those hope you enjoy the video all right guys so we have the brand new seventh inning program in the game we got a brand new headliner that includes 98 future stars joey bart look at these stats crazy versus lefties he's got great power versus righties and he's a defensive catcher 95 fielding 90 arm 95 accuracy that's wild i don't know if he touches the upper echelon of the catchers in the game i haven't really used the swing that much due to his prospect card not being the greatest but i might give him a shot we'll see we also got a brand new player program that we're going to go through brand new tops now moments and cards out as well as the roster update we're going to start with the seventh inning program we got our typical showdown 70 stars missions you know your typical online wins online strikeouts with signature series players uh pitchers this time tally home runs with the awards nelson cruz that is going to be the player program we're going to get into that in a sec conquest the shark map is back and it's got a crazy amount of rewards i'm gonna i'm gonna show a screenshot of all the rewards on the map and where they are this was created by j pro i'm gonna include his link in the description below he does crazy things like this a great follow on twitter and instagram so i'll, I'll link those in the description as well but he created this map and uh yeah just take a look real quick and then also in the collections we got the seventh inning collection so the voucher of collecting all three uh bosses from the sixth inning program signature series players collection so you need five signature series players and then also the awards nelson cruz so this is the brand new player program here is the card 93 overall silver slugger nelson cruz wearing those mariners teal this is a older card from uh, looks like 2015 uh very good card versus righties absolutely stupid insane versus lefties this card is going to destroy the ball he's got a nice swing too as we all know great arm not the greatest fielder but we all know that about nelson cruz he can't feel the ball he does have a strong arm though so for rewards we got our typical stuff we got two headliners here snake nameplate 3k stubs of 140 the henchman we got a 92 overall sergio romo I think this card's actually going to be fantastic in anybody's bullpen. Definitely worth picking up, especially at a 92 overall. Prime card, good for the Trout Collection, and he's probably not going to be expensive since he's a henchman. We got 92 overall Sig Series Mark Burley. This card, it's it's not someone I would recommend using in your rotation, to be honest with you. But he's a new legend. He definitely deserved his signature series card, and it's only a 92 overall. The per nines aren't great, but... If you like him, you like pitching with him, he'll stay in the game a long time with 115 stamina. And then we got Prime 92 overall, Matt Carpenter. This card is exciting. The attributes are not quite like that player of the month card that we got a few years back, but very good and matched with the glitchy swing that he has, this card is gonna rake. Also, silver fielding, not bad. So we're gonna continue here. We've got a ball and pack of 200, another two headliners of 220 a five bundle of 280 and then here are our bosses bryce harper frank thomas and walter the big train johnson we're gonna start off with bryce harper look at this card it, he I, I mean i don't know what to say matched with his swing in this game this card is insane might be the best hitter versus righties in in the game maybe it, it depends he's also got an absolute cannon of an arm 75 fielding so that's gonna be your silver badge 74 speed is solid this is a good card i think he would play on my bench personally because i don't see myself replacing larry walker with him but i would give him a shot next here is the big train walter johnson signature series 99 overall max stamina great per nines all the way across the board he's actually got bronze fielding too and something that uh i don't remember who it was but someone noticed He's actually a little bit of a hitter too. You can hit a little bit. Now, the big thing about Walter Johnson is he has the outlier on both his fastball and his sinker. Double outlier on this card. Very similar to Nolan Ryan, except he has great control. A lot of quirks too. So I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna use him. I might give him a shot just because he does have the control along with double outlier, but I didn't like the Nolan Ryan card too much. So we'll see about Walter Johnson. He does throw sidearm, by the way. And lastly, we got 99 overall prime Frank Thomas. This is exactly what you expect out of this card. Max versus lefties. Over 100 versus uh, righties in both contact and power. Just an absolute stud hitter. 
a lot of people love this card last year um he might be somebody's free version of babe that's less of a grind i'm personally gonna keep babe at first base but we might give frank a shot there too just like harper might get a shot in my outfield he does have common fielding which we all expect but when prestiged this card will have bronze fielding very good card taking a look at the prestige cards for these just because a lot of you like to see these sets with your eyes instead of just imagining the the plus three on all the attributes here's harper's card uh pretty much the same he's got a 98 in our arm now same thing with walter johnson he's not going to throw any harder because he's already got max out velo max out break uh they gave him a plus on his per nines gets his hits per nine over 100 but um similar card and then for frank obviously he was already maxed out versus lefties he just gets a little better versus righties the vision gets over 100 but vision doesn't matter very much this year frankly compared to the previous years because of the way the pci was explained to us this year um fielding does get to that bronze badge so that does make him a little bit better in my opinion and he's got up to 51 speed now taking a look at the brand new tops now cards the moments it's a similar thing you play uh big moments from earlier this week and you get a pack that you get two of these cards all right so first is this 97 overall starting pitcher sunny gray uh not the most stamina great per nines it looks like he has really good stuff four seam 12 six slider sinker change up looks like a very solid card i definitely take this card over the shane bieber from the last one in my opinion but uh you know they're similar next we got 95 overall mitch Moreland, absolute stud versus righties in the sds stream they actually compared him a lot to derek dietrich he does have silver field and can play the outfield just can't play second base next we got 95 overall dylan bundy and man is this guy having a hell of a season solid card does not throw hard but he has good speed differential from his off speed and his fastball we got 94 overall cole calhoun pretty good versus righties uh pretty solid versus lefties i'd say gold fielding 82 arm with 91 accuracy it's just a solid card to put in your outfield and lastly we got the 93 overall steven piscotti can play first base in every outfield position primary right field very good card in my opinion just balanced all the way around 97 102 versus rights 95 84 versus left so a little bit of reverse splits uh gold fielding 74 arm is not terrible but not great overall it, it's it's an easy free card to get you know lastly we do have the roster update and we got a few new diamonds first of all mookie Betts goes up to from an 89 to a 92 big jump for him cody bellinger actually falls out of the 90 overall range down to an 88 shane bieber up to an 87 bryce harper from an 85 to an 87 man this card has some nasty reverse splits that you typically don't see with lefties bregman stays the same but gets a big downgrade in contact versus righties Lindor, uh he goes down one overall but he actually got a little better versus lefties uh the contact versus right went down but he has better power versus right so it evens out uh rendon got a big downgrade very very big downgrade real muto he actually went up one overall downgrade it versus righties in contact but everything else went up dj lemayhew got another boost in contact Charlie Blackman went from an 81 to an 85 overall diamond. That is absolutely insane. Contact versus right and left go up over 15 and vision goes up over 15. Juan Soto goes diamond as well. Big boost versus righties, a boost in con uh, a boost in power versus lefties and a boost in vision. Fernando Tatis got even better versus righties. Lance Lynn goes diamond. Sonny Gray stays diamond, but gets a bump in velocity actually. Trevor Bauer goes diamond. Walker Buehler gets a downgrade. He is now a gold. Aaron Nola jumped from an 81 to an 84. Charlie Morton got a downgrade to a gold. Starling Marte up to an 84. Pete Alonzo downgraded from a diamond to a gold. I think this actually makes his card better because he's going to be insane in BR now. Springer got downgraded to a gold. David Fletcher up to an 83. Patrick Corbin up to an 83. Kenley up to an 83. JD Martinez downgrade two actually got a hit on everything to do with hitting Chris Bryant down Rizzo down Lamette up Jose Altuve <laughs> fell from an 85 to an 82 overall that's just tough man that's just tough not a diamond anymore though Simeon gets downgraded Carrasco up Buxton up to a gold Perez up to a gold Bundy up to a gold Conforto up to a gold Seeger up to a gold, Yastrzemski up to a gold. Kimbrel just got a position change. I don't know why he's not getting downgraded. Uh, Bichette went from a 75 to an 80. 
Look at that jump versus righties, a jump and vision. That's a big, big upgrade for Bichette. Josh Bell got downgraded. Tim Anderson up to a gold. Tommy Pham down nearly a silver. Same with Johanio Suarez. If this card goes silver, it's going to be the nastiest BR card we've seen since Joey Gallo. Then we got some more people in silver. The notable one is Shohei Otani. Got a position change from starting pitcher to right field. So you can't pitch with him anymore. Um, definitely a downgrade in contact. A little upgrade in power versus right. But overall, he's now a silver. Glaber Torres is now a silver as well. The card definitely does not look as good as it did. And uh, we got a bunch of other silvers. Mad Bomb down. Barrios down. It looks like. And as Wardo Escobar is down. Trying to see if there are any other notable ones. Doesn't look like it. Brett Gardner down. And Devers got a minus three downgrade. And Garver. Ooh. Wait. Yo, this might be the best silver catcher in the game for BR. This is this. Look out for this one, chat. This is insane. Gary Sanchez got the. Oh, wait. Now, okay. So both Garver and Sanchez are silver catchers now. Oh, that's wild. That's wild. All right, so taking a look at our upcoming schedule. Obviously, today we got the seventh inning program. Roster and tops now. Headliners pack, conquest, and program. Uh, that's the Nelson Cruz player program. On Tuesday, we'll be getting new Battle Royale rewards, a flawless gold glove legend, and a signature closer. So let me know down in the comments who you think those guys are going to be. I'm leaning Billy Wagner for the closer, but we'll see. And then Thursday content. Next week, we got a new roster update, tops now player program, a new event, and another new headliner. So stay on the lookout for that. All right. So we have our five headliner packs. We're going for the Joey Bart. We also got a trip Twitch drops pack. So we're going to do that first. All right. Good little warm up pack. Got our boy Derek Holland. All right. The five headliners packs. We're going for Joey Bart. Let's go. Show me a Joey Bart. Come on, baby. That's Kepler. Come on. Show me some blue. That's uh, a silver Joe Smith. I need to see a blue. Show me a diamond. Show me a diamond. Another gold. Carlos Carrasco. New new diamond. Newer diamond. Come on, baby. Another silver. All right. Here is our last chance. Show me Joey Bart, baby. Come on. Oh, we got a diamond. Come on, baby. Come on. Show me Joey Bart. National League. Right fielder. Oh, it looks like it's going to be Harper. Maybe Bellinger? Who's it going to be? Christian Yelich. All right. Definitely could have been better. Could have been worse, though. I mean, we could have been a lot worse. We got a diamond out of a headliner. We'll take it, baby. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's content update. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please, if you did enjoy it, like the video. Also, subscribe if you're new. I've been pumping out content like crazy lately. And guys, until next time, I'll see you later.